Good evening, everyone. Let's play the Hard Sudoku from the New York Times for Monday, April 22nd, 2024. Okay, and we've got nothing in the top three rows. In the middle three rows, I can place it. No, in actually in the bottom row of the middle row, row six, box five, I can place a two. And then I've got a five in one of two places in row four. I've been out with a cold, and thus I'm now just catching up. Uh, in the bottom three rows, eight, five, two, three, one, four, six, one, three. Okay, I can place a one. Well, there are three ones looking at a box eight. I can place it. That puts a one in two places in box seven. This two in column five has nothing in four or six. I can't follow up on it. Oh, but the one here, which is a force digit, places the three in box eight also. Yeah, three, one, one, three. That's a hidden one, three pair, which is the easier way to see it. But eight, five, two, four, six, I'm done. Okay, what about the columns? I've got six in one of two places in column one, three in one of two places in column three, uh, nine in one of two places in column two, I think. Let's see, six, uh, nine, six, three, six, three, nine, three, nine, six. Okay, ah, and I've got a one in one of two places in column one. So this is a hidden one, six pair, and the one in row six tells me the order of the one and the six in column one. Well, that's convenient. That leaves me with a triple in box four, which I don't believe is immediately resolved. Four, seven, eight. I can't get rid of any of those digits. I've got a triple in row six. Uh, four, seven, nine. That one can only be seven, nine. Wait, wait a minute. No. Four, seven, eight. This sees four and eight. That's a hidden seven. So those two are four eight. That gives me four digits in box six, but I don't have much else to go with yet. I don't think I have any crossings. Anyway. In the middle three columns, I've got a five in one of those two in column four. One I've already placed, and that's all I get. Uh, in the right columns, uh, eight, two, seven, five, four. Okay, two is in one of those three in column eight. And I can't do much else. Can I? Well, actually, there's a crossing on 8 in box 9. The 8 from column or row 7 looks to the right, and the 8 from column 7 looks down. That places an 8 in one of those two, which in turn places it in one of those two. In row 9, box 7. Let's see, row seven is missing a six, which can't go here. It must go there. Uh, column eight, row seven. There's only one space for it. That leaves four, seven, nine. Which can only be there. Because the nines in columns one and three rule out either of those two positions. So this nine means that isn't. Okay, that means row seven is down to a pair four and seven respectively. I can type it, and this is where not having a numeric keypad is a disadvantage. But 
1, 3, 4, 6, 7, 9. I need 2, 5, and 8 to finish box 7. The very bottom left of it can only be 5 or 8. The rest... We've heard, yeah, 8 can't go here, so this is 2 or 5. That one can't be 5. That's 2 or 8. And I have a weird triple there that jogs on a diagonal like that. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I need 7, 8, 9. In box 9. Uh, column 7, row 9 can only be a 9. That means those are 7, 8. Box 9 is complete. This is left as a triple. No, it isn't. Now, that has not been resolved yet. So, one, three, four, seven, eight. I need 2, 5, 6, and 9. For these cells, five can only go there. It can't go here or here. You see six and nine. This one, I think, can be any of them. Uh, that's six or nine. It can't be two or five. And this one is two or nine. Well, six is there, which I could have seen. Let's see, down here, I need two, five, eight, four, and seven to fill out the row. Obviously, none of them can be eight. Okay. Well, oh, this could be seven, otherwise I'd have a four seven pair, but I don't quite have that. Okay, anyway. I need two, four, seven, and eight for column two. Those two can be, I think, either. Let's see, these two are one, two, three, six, nine, so I need four, five, seven, and eight. Finish column one. Four seven eight four seven. That suspiciously looks like a four seven eight triple. In column three, let me fill out those just to be safe. They can't be one six or nine. Two different ways. That's not five. That's not eight. Now. See, if this is a 478, yeah, 2, 3, and 5 can only appear in those three. So the 478 triple here, which is assumed and which appears to be correct, that obviously is not part of it. Neither of those can be 4, 7, or 8. What about this? I have 1, 2, 3. Wow, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4. Red, orange, green, and purple. I have four different triples interacting in column 3. Very interesting. Uh, anyway, let's see. Box 5 has 1, 2, 5, and 6 filled in. I need 3, 4, 7, 8, 9. Which ends up in that configuration. These two can't be 2, 4, 7, 8. Let's see. These aren't 1. Either of those are five or six. Two or 
seven, eight. Okay, so this ends up being a one, three, nine triple. That has implications for that cell and that one. Now that's a triple. So this cell is part of three different ones. Let's see, one, three, nine. So this ends up as a five, six pair. And the six tells me that's a five. Well, it took me a long way to get there, but I got there. Can't do anything else with it, though. But I'm left with a triple in column seven. Two, four, five, seven, eight, nine are placed. I need one, three, and six. That cell can be any of them. This one can't be one. Okay, what else do I have to go on? Not much. Uh, row one has three candidates filled in. It can't be six, eight, nine. None of those can be four or five. This can't be one or three by column. That's not one or two by column. This one isn't one or five by column. That's not two or three by the same logic. Doesn't tell me anything. Okay, here. Okay, I end up with not four or five. That's all I can do before elimination by row or column. Neither of those are six or eight. This also sees a one. Not much else to go on, do I? Not really. Okay, then these four, which are the last ones in the grid, are not eight, and only not eight. Okay, those aren't five by row, these are not one or four. Okay, this isn't one, and neither of those are six. That's not five. That one sees two, three, six by column, so does that one. Okay, so by row, I had a lot to go with. By column, where I need to look. Do I have much to go on? Not really. Let's see, one's here, I got what's to go with. Okay, six is one of those two. Okay, do I have some type of claiming pair in box two? Not that I can see. Okay, five. It's one of those two cells. Another one of those offset diagonal pairs, not the same row. In column one. Oh, well, okay. These can't be four. And we said those can't be four. So I put a claiming crossing four one of those two cells in row two. Now that's important because that rules out four from two of the cells on the other end. It means one of those is a four, which I also could have seen from looking across row one. Let's see, five is in one of the, ugh, five is in one of those two specifically. I can't do anything with it.
Yeah, I got nothing useful to go on with F5, do I? Yeah, marking 9 there doesn't do me any good. But I may as well do it. Oh, well, actually, oh, I can't put two there. I wish I could. I can't even put eight here. Oh, one is in three places in row three. That does not help me. to look elsewhere. The key here is where else do I look? I've got five in column four and nothing else in column four or box eight is a five. I've got six in row eight and nothing else that really goes with it. Four in row seven, or nine, actually row nine, not row seven. And again, has nothing else to go with it. Excuse me. Let's see, did I put myself in some type of pattern that I can't get out of? How many, how many ones am I missing? See, two here, and nothing else. But three, four, seven, eight, nine, all across the region. Five here, nothing else. But one, four, seven, eight, nine, all across the region. Four here. Nothing else in box three is a four. Nothing else in row one is a four either. Now one's in two places, as is five. But since both the one and the five cross a region, I can't isolate to the same hidden pair. I wish I could, but I can't do that. Some other triple I'm not seeing. Six is there, we know that. One three nine is here, we know that. Okay, this is four seven eight, as is that, as is that. Seven, and that's good. The fact that this could be a seven is what vexes me. Same argument six and nine are two of those three spots, not two of the same two spots. And the five crosses a region here. I hate to have to start guessing, but I might have to. I'm going to argue that row 8, column 3 is a 2. That place is a bunch. Yeah, that's forced to be an 8. That's forced to be a 5. Oh, no, this can't be. 
That's three. That's a five. Okay, none of those are eight. That's left as a two, four, seven, triple in column two. There's another four, seven, eight. I can't do anything with. Okay, that's six. That may have been what I was missing, was the six in column four. This cannot be 9. I've only reduced column 6 to a 1, 2, 3, 4, 7 quintuple, but that's a 1. That's not 3. That's not 1. Well, that's not 1, so that one is. This is down to a 2, 7 pair. So 4 is here, 7, 2. Seven. This now can't be seven or four. That's a three. Two seven makes that three. I've got three two sevens here in those three spots, and we have a contradiction. So this cell cannot be two because I can't have three different cells each have a two seven pair in the same region because I end up with either a duplicate or something with no cell in it. I correctly assume that 6 was placed in column 4 when in fact it was not. So this cell cannot be 2 and therefore must be 5. That means this is at 5. I'm left with a 2 3 pair here at the very top of column 3. Therefore, this is none of those are 2. This is now a 4 7 8 triple. That's a 2. This is an 8. That's not 5 and this must be. Two six nine triple in box eight, so this isn't two. That's a four seven pair. Let's see eight. Column one has been placed, so I've got a four five seven triple in column one, a four seven eight triple in column two, and in column three, and in row five. Well, this is interesting. To say the least. Now, oh, four seven pair replaces the five in column one. How did I not see that? Okay, that's not five. This must be. That places five and four in box three. I'm left with a one seven nine triple in column nine. That places the eight and thus the four in the eight seven. And establishes those aren't seven. Okay, what next? Three's definitely there. Excuse me. <clears throat> oh, the six is not positioned either in column five or in box two. Because it isn't, I can't go any further with that one. Oh. Two, three, seven. That's a triple in row one. That places the one. So this is not one. Let's see. By rows, the bottom three are pretty much done. And the left three columns are done. So I only need to look at boxes 2, 3, 5, and 6, and 6 is done. I 
column 789 are down to nothing but triples also. So the key here, I think, is boxes 2 and 5. They're the only ones left. See, nine's here, three's here. But four, seven, eight, both t all turn a corner. In box two, I've got six, seven, eight, and nine, all of which turn a corner of some sort. See, there's a triple. That's a triple. Six is one of those two. Okay, one in one of these two doesn't help me, does it? Four there, we knew that. In row two already. What about three? I got nothing else to go with. Triples do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have like twelve. Why can't I see the solution at this point? I should be able to do that. I've got this four seven pair in row one, in a column one, in row seven that's not breaking. But since that cell is going to disambiguate, box one, column one, and box four, column two, and column three, I may as well try this one. I'm going to make an assumption that row two, column one, is a four, and see where it takes me. That means that's a four, so seven, four, this is seven, eight. Let's see, these aren't four, so that one must be. That places seven and four down there. Seven and column five places a three, which means those aren't three and that one is. This is neither three nor seven. Uh, the three in row one places two, three, seven. These end up as a two nine, and I end up with three different cells with a two nine pair in column six. So that cell cannot be four. So row two. Column one must be seven. It cannot be four. That's seven. This ends up being a four and eight pair, so seven is there. That's eight. That's a four. Those aren't seven. I'm going to have some of the logic, I think, just flip by 90 degrees. Right? These are not seven. 
This is not eight. This isn't seven. One nine pair places the seven in column nine. Do I end up with an intractable pattern? I really hope not. Ah, yes. Eight can only go in one, of, in one spot. In box two. That places the six. Eight in column four places nine, seven, not seven. Uh, that sorts out 926 as a triple in row 8. Those obviously can't be 9. That's a 3 4 pair, which places the 8 in box 5. That places 4 8. 2, 3, 2, 7. Whoops, three nine pair in column six places the four and then the three in row four. I got three, one, nine, three. Okay, that's nine, that's one, that's six, that's two, that's three, that's nine. <laughs> I accidentally wrote down zero in 31 minutes. Not pretty, and I had to use two con contradictions to get there, but if I have to prove my contradiction when I've only got two candidates for one cell, it's a lot easier to do.